Aside bad maintain, weightlifting also did well at the Commonwealth Games. Mm -hmm. The weightlifting, athletics, wrestling, they were among the top yeah. um, top, contributors top, top for the medal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and then weightlifting also. Uh, we didn't get to hear so much about weightlifting until about three weeks in the competition. Yeah, you know, we know the former national head coach was replaced. I can imagine can came out pictures of some of the weightlifters doing the preparations for the African Games. We'll get more on weightlifting and their um, achievements at the Just Come Play African Games. We're being joined now by the head coach of Nigeria Weightlifting Federation, Ekanem, Andrew Ekanem. Good morning, coach, and welcome to the show. Good morning, Sam. Thank you very much. I'm so glad. Okay, to... we're taking a look at weightlifting and how your team, you know, performed at the Just Completed African Games. What's the experience like for you, coach? Uh, thank you very much. Uh... Uh, the performance to me was uh, very spectacular because regarding the, the fact that uh, most of the athletes that competed in the uh, All-African game were first time in the game. We have just few uh, athletes who are uh, all time in the game. And their performance was so spectacular. I was so impressed by their performance. So at the end of it, most clearly we came out with a total of eight goals, uh, eight kills over and um, nine bronze medals. I tell you, brother, the, the performance of my athletes in that company was so uh, spectacular, and I was so impressed by their performance. All right, uh, Coach, I know you're delighted right now, and we're, we're happy for you uh, as well. But, but, but looking forward, um, what do you expect? Like, when we go to Rio, what do you think will happen? Do you, do, do you, think, we'll be this do, do you think we'll be this dominant in Rio? Well, yes, uh, you see... Whenever we are preparing to go out for the competition or anything you want to do, we want to go uh, to help the best out of it. So I'm expecting uh, the, uh, my weightlifters to go out for Rio Olympics to have the best performance as we are going to start uh, preparation soon. Because uh, with the promise of uh, the uh, uh, Director General of the National Sport Commission at Congo, he said we are go going to go on a break of uh, 21 days before we we'll start the preparation for the Rio Olympics. And moreover, since weightlifting is having a world championship in hosting uh, November, he said we should not wait for 21 days that we have to put our uh, home right and we'll kick start our preparation towards that uh, world championship so we'll have a better preparation. So, definitely, me as a coach, I feel with this promise and uh, with continuity in training, Nigeria, you know, Nigerians, we are out to perform. So uh, going out for a competition, we have to do our best to make sure we perform very well. Look at the last uh, uh, All African Games. Not minding the short period of preparation, and we train within the country, and we still go out there to showcase ourselves. Like in what if you look at the number of silver medals we have won, uh, we have gotten. You know, is due to the fact that most of the athletes are new athletes. We we have been converted this uh, 18 gold medals into in, into gold medals. You see the the number of uh, gold medal world lifting uh, federation will win in that game. All right, Coach, uh, yes, uh, interesting things you've been saying uh, so far, uh, talking about uh, preparations and, uh, you know, what we, we really have to expect at the uh, next Olympics in Rio. But um, I'm really concerned about, you know, the facilities back home. Um, as a coach, what will you be doing to ensure that uh, the federation, you know, makes sure that uh, we have, you know, adequate uh, training facilities for, for the weightlifters? Thank you very much. As a coach, you know, I have uh, informed the, the, the authority concerned about the facility and what we're having now is temporarily that we are using in the gymnasium in the package B, uh, uh, package B training center in Abuja. And the, the, the DG of the National Sport Commission have really promised us that we're going to give us a, a standard uh, facility that's a gymnasium for weightlifting training. But at the moment, the equipment that we are having is standard equipment. Moreover, the platform, as we were uh, starting the preparation for the uh, for the All African Games, the DG came in personally that we have to make sure we we have a, a standard equipment as a platform for our preparation. We uh, uh, we did and uh, we constructed a standard platform like day before yesterday. What I got into the gym. And I, I saw the platform, even though I have packed all those weight into the store, I saw the platform, I was so impressed that we are putting something like this in this country. And with that, I must tell you, it happened to be one of the moral posters for my weightlifters was the uh, All-African Games for them to perform so far. Mm. 
Thank you so much, Coach, for speaking to us on the show. So that's it. Uh, with weightlifting, you can be sure that Nigeria will win medals. But again, if we if we do more, then um, we will become dominant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eight gold medals, eighteen, 18 silver, silver. Wow. And nine bronze medals. And, and he, the, the coach said, if you look at those silver medals, it could easily, it could easily, have, it could become, easily have been gold. gold. Mentioned the name Miriam Usman. She got a she got a silver medal. And, uh, I had to call her. Come on, Miriam, you're a golden girl. You are better than What's this? going on? You know that again. Uh, coach needs to tell us because we've been hearing issues of uh, players, um, weightlifters not being motivated, satisfied. Um, some of the issues in the federation also affecting their performance and all of that. But not a bad performance. Oh well, and good. It's not okay. a bad performance. Really. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm.